Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about a topic in Spark MLib called FP Growth. So in Spark, we have Spark Batch, Spark Streaming, Spark SQL. So in the same way, we have something called Spark MLib, which is called Machine Learning Library. So under which we are going to discuss about an algorithm called FP Growth. So FP Growth, a full form, it's like a frequent pattern growth. So generally, like I can tell you an example before starting this. So you might have heard about Market Basket Algorithm. That, that generally people use uh, to as a marketing strategy to identify how frequent an item set occurs and how frequent this item can be uh, placed together with some other item so that the sales opportunity will be get increased. So that is what we call it as an MBA algorithm. So MBA algorithm consists of so many pieces. So one such piece is to identify the frequency of an item. So that is what FP growth gives. Okay, so now we are going to discuss. So this is actually two videos actually. So one video I'm going to explain the basic today and continuation to it. I'm going to explain you the next level of the same market basket algorithm in the next video using Spark how to do it. Okay, so today let's make it as so simple. So the very first piece that we are going to discuss in and this market basket algorithm is FP growth. Okay, so here, as I told you, it is it is to calculate item frequencies and identify the frequent item circuits. That's it. Okay, so now uh, to calculate this, right? So just we need to give some input to get the frequent uh, items that occurs in my transaction. So we have to give two informations. I need to give it as an input to my algorithm. One is support. We call it as minimum support and then minimum confidence. So before getting into it, you can just see my item set. So I have three transactions. As a shop owner, I have three transactions, three bill. Okay. So customer, first customer is getting milk, bread, egg. Second customer, milk, bread, juice and egg. Third customer, milk and bread. So now I need to identify list of frequent patterns that occurs, item set that occurs in the overall transaction. So based on that, I can rearrange my objects. So for example, I have egg in one shelf and then milk in another shelf. So if I have the probability of the combo of these two items is giving me higher sales, then I can make it, I can just bring these two objects in a same, in a same shelf so that in a, in a same shelf so that my sales will get increased. Okay. Now minimum support. What is minimum support? Item occurs as frequent. So that is what the minimum support is all about. So how to calculate it? Now imagine you want to understand the frequency of milk. Imagine. So you have total like you have five transactions out of which three transactions consist of milk means the, the minimum support calculation is three divided by five. You can see here 0 0.6. So now the confidence. So confident how often an item occurs together. So that is where like the confidence comes into picture. The, the confidence that you are giving as an input for each item set in your transaction. So for example, you have X as a separate item and just X only sold out. It's like four. Now combination of X and Y, the people who buy Y also buy X is two. Only two people are interested in getting this combo of Y and X, but just X, there is four transactions. So that means two divided by four. So that means 0 0.5 is the confidence where people who buy Y also will buy X. Okay. So like that, we have to build a general, uh, it's all trial and error. The numbers, what you are going to give us an input for minimum support and confidence, it's all about trial and error, trial and error based on your sales and based on your daily transaction and based on how frequent you have to build this model. It's all depends and it changes. Fine. So let me show you an example so that you will be get, getting a better clarity. So I'll just show you the Spark code. So here I'm just doing the ML import FP growth and then I'm creating a data set. So I have this three records and then I'm just converting it to a map and then I'm saying this records are delimited with space and then I'm converting it to a DF and I'm naming it as items. So next I'm creating an object for my FP growth class and then set to the minimum support and minimum confident here we are giving as 0 0.5. So it's 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 like a very uh, very what to say an average numbers that people used to start with but you can still reduce it but reducing it will give you the list of all the item sets so that is there is no use of it so always people will start with a decent of this 0 0.5 but again i'm telling you so it's all about trial and error as i just wanted to pick one item and with that item i calculated the support and confidence but if you want to calculate with more items then the calculations will get changed so now i'm just building the model in line number 10 and then i'm just printing my model i mean it's the output i'm just giving a show now back to my linux Okay, so I'm just imported. I created the data set. 
and then minimum support 0 0.6 and confident is 0 0.5 now show now you can see here so i have bread which is like three times so it, it so if you see here i have bread three times the frequency of bread is three times the overall transaction is also three so the frequency of bread is also three so it starts from higher order so if you see here bread three times and then milk is also three times and combination of next uh, high level combo is milk and bread combination is three but if you see there is no other combination that comes for three which is like equal to the total number of transactions right no right and then next egg two records and then egg and milk so which is the next leading uh, product it speaks egg actually so with that what is the leading combo of it so egg and milk egg milk and bread and egg and bread now we can able to see this so imagine you can ask me why juice is not there in the list or juice and egg is not there in the list because it is very minimum it is very less it's just one transaction out of three and there is no need of calculating it so now imagine if you reduce the uh, number like from 0 0.6 to 0 0.1 or 1 uh, sorry minus 1 if you reduce it you will be get printed with all the records so there is no no use of it to calculate this frequency patterns right now imagine what if i put one for my algorithm for means i'll give one as a input for my support and confidence so now i'm going to give one for my minimum support and minimum confidence so when you give one what happens you can see now i'll just build this and then show so you can see here so before when i give show when my support and uh, uh, confident was 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 i got these many records but when i changed it both support and confident is one i'm getting only three records because it gives you the higher amount of items that got a transaction of with respect to the overall records that you have you have three records transactions out of three this particular combo and this particular individual item is present in all the transactions so that is how it is giving you so bread three times milk three times and combination of bread and milk is again three times but no other product or like occurred for three times or the individual item occurred for three times nothing right so when you increase it you are getting in this way so if you want this way you can go with one or you want to reduce it to get more number of items in the combos then you can reduce it to 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.6 something like that so this is all about the frequent pattern of an item we are identifying that's it so next level is association rules so that is what the core uh, algorithm part we implement in market basket algorithm that i will show you in the next video so that gives the confident and support count uh, the number for each of the transaction and each of the item that happened actually so with that we can able to confirm a lot so that the marketing team will make use of it so this is just a first level okay it's not the final thing what a marketing team is enough to do their sales advertisement or rearranging the shelf no this is not so still we have some more things to do that i'll cover it in the next video so if you want to see my complete big data videos you can get the link from the description box of this video where you have some 60 plus big data videos the complete videos will make you as a data engineer for sure big data engineer so thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel if you really like this video